The Right to Education Act, when it was enacted um, in April 2010, was really a milestone for India because it was the first time that we, the, the, the country and government was accountable for ensuring free compulsory education of good quality. Um, it, the act talks about the rights of children, but it also talks about teachers, schools, curriculum, and a child-friendly and child-centered approach to learning. So in the law, there are a wide range of provisions that it's looking at ensuring an attractive learning environment, a proper school environment, um, a, a, a one that um, has really active teachers and, and that are enjoying to teach and the children are enjoying to learn, and a good school community participation um, in the classroom. We've seen um, progress in terms of the number of posts that have been sanctioned for teachers. We've seen millions more children that have been identified from out of school and mainstreamed into age-appropriate class, but there's still definitely a huge amount of work to do. Um, right now, we have 8 million children out of school, and there's over 80 million children that are not able to complete the full cycle of elementary education. And what that means is these children are dropping out or either pushed out of the education system and are vulnerable to exploitation, abuse, or violence. We also know that only 60% of schools across India um, have toilets for girls and boys, and only over half of those schools have toilets that are even functional. Um, so there's definitely a lot of work to do when we're addressing the quality of education. Um, finally, we also know that over half of the children that are enrolled between standards three and five are not able to read text of a standard one. So there's definitely a lot of challenges when it comes to ensuring not only the right to education but the right to learn. We can draw hope or inspiration from some examples from the field from states that have really made progress um, over the last two years since the three years since the act has been in force. Um, one, for example, is the School Excellence Program, where we've seen in M Mumbai, in the urban slums of Mumbai, over half a million children have been reached with quality education, with uh, child-centric learning processes, with better school management, and improved teaching practice. And these are normally children that would, would have been otherwise engaged in child labor or on the streets. We've also seen in Gujarat, because of the Right to Education Act, we've seen early childhood education. Um, incorporated in the policy. We've seen improvement in the way the early childhood learning centers are operating across the state. We've seen much better enrollments of children in preschool and a much more attractive learning environment for them. So we see this progress, we see it's possible, but there's still a lot of work to do in terms of achieving the promise of what right to education holds for all the children across India and quality education with equity.